Hey, what's up everyone? So today is a special day. It will be the first episode in the podcast, The Smart Entrepreneurs. So today I'm gonna interview a friend of mine, a multimillionaire guy. He's a very, very good guy. I, I love this guy, why? Because even if he make million, he stay humble. And this is the key. And the key also is not to spend your time to try to create something. No, you can do it everything and not to spend many hours to make million. So I, I really advise you to follow this podcast until the end. Hello, uh, Gabriel. So um, it's a pleasure for me uh, today to uh, invite you on this podcast and thank you to, to say, yes, Max, I, I, I really want to do this with you. And to speak about my life, my story, and how I become I became a multimillionaire. First of all, I wanted to explain how we met. Uh, it was here in Bali, so because uh, currently we are in Ubud for this interview, and we met here in Ubud uh, one years and a half ago. Mm -hmm. I remember with a common friend we have uh, together, Adrien, mm -hmm. and yeah, it was very good. I mean, the first time we met. I felt I felt something with you, mm. and now I understand why I was mm. like more attracted by you, because as I said before, you're a very humble guy, mm. and I really appreciate you by the person you are first. Mm. So thank you to do this with me today, and just let's have fun now and introduce you yourself, please. Who are you? Where are you born? Everything, and we will uh, speak more. Yeah, Mr. Max, uh, you know, we met, uh, we met a year and a half ago, uh, and it's been a, uh, even now it's like a, a uh, growing relationship, you know? Uh, I like the conversations we have because they're very deep. Um, and uh, it's not something that, uh, that you get every day, you know? Mm. I feel like it's something special also that happens in, in Valley where people have, their heart are very open and you can talk about anything you know mm. and it's you know uh, people's hearts are more open than anywhere else i feel mm. and uh it's good i love talking to you so oh, this is going to be a great interview so coming back to who am i my, my name is gabriel uh, gabriel muller uh born in france uh, 36 years ago <laughs> <laughs> oh we have the same age it's we have the same age uh, <laughs> very uh yeah and um right now um i do a few different things uh as you know been in the app, uh, iPhone app business, also a little bit of Android since uh, eight years now, eight mm. years. And uh, started for more or less nothing and then slowly built things up uh, progressively. And uh, also I started a, a different uh, career uh, six years ago now uh, in cycling, uh, road cycling. And uh, uh, it's been also like a a process starting, mm. you know, at the age of 30, getting uh, buying a bike, a uh, shitty bike because I didn't know exactly where it was taking. Actually, I knew where I was going, but and I was very confident on where I was going to go. But, uh, you know, I started with a you know, very cheap bike just to, in case I didn't like it. So I started uh, yeah, at the age of 30, uh, cycling a bit, a few hours a week, and then trained more and more and more. And then progressively, uh, I, knew, uh, like, I knew I had uh, good endurance, uh, qualities like it runs in the family mm. uh, I knew it uh, so it's not like I could not have been like a power lifter like forget it like I no matter how much uh, uh, meat I eat or how much weight I lift mm. it's like I just don't I, I just don't get bigger I just get fat so um, I knew uh, endurance was my thing I was I wasn't worried about it so I got into it and I knew exactly where I was going and the road has been uh, interesting uh, so I started racing. So I started when I was 30. At the age of 32, I did my first amateur races and I did really well. Mm. Did I surprise myself? Not really because I, I, I could see that I was good. Uh, but amateur racing is not the same as uh, professional racing. But mm. I got myself through my contacts, I got myself into a semi-professional team the next year. And, uh, and uh, the first few months were really... Uh, I mean, people consider it, consider it to, 
it wasn't really difficult. It, it was difficult because the first few races I was just getting knocked out after like five minutes, 10 minutes, 30 minutes, psh, it's out. Not necessarily that I didn't have the qualities, it's just that I, my body, I think, was just getting used to the uh, to bike racing. Which it's mm. very um, it's very intense. And um, yeah, it took me maybe three, four months to start to finish my first race. Uh, semi-professional race, there's some professionals, some semi-professionals. Uh, and um, and I, got, I got a little bit of attention for that, uh, a little bit of press uh, locally in France maybe in Belgium or stuff like this, but because uh, it's out of the norm mm. to start cycling when you're 30 and then make it to the professionals at the age of 33 or somewhere professional. Uh, so the, the, the first year was just learning. Uh, the second year I got into a different team uh, uh, that's called Cambodia Cycling Academy and uh, through contacts as usual. And um, the first part of the year was... Uh, uh, yeah, I was just finishing the race that was yeah. doing okay. And the goal was to cycle kind of all over the world. So we, uh, we started the season early 2020. So that was before COVID. And, you know, the first, I think the first, we had some races in France. Uh, then we went to uh, Turkey, then to Taiwan, and then COVID hit. And then ended up in, in Bali, because I was in Taiwan. And, I was like, uh, and uh, my friend Remy. Mm, was here yeah. and I had about three weeks between this race in Taiwan and in Thailand so I was like oh let's go see Remy in Bali I don't I, I had only been here once before so just flew to Bali stayed here and then COVID hit and just like you like we had the choice do we stay here or do we go back yeah and um and I had a ticket to go back but I uh uh I saw everybody leaving the whole island was deserted mm. within a week and uh but uh in my heart uh, i stayed I, I wanted to stay so i stayed and that was the, a really good decision because we had it pretty okay here no lockdowns oh, yeah it's yeah. really different yeah L life is wonderful and we yeah. we can appreciate the taste of life more here i mean yeah. because we're in a natural place yes. surrounded by like beautiful people i mean there is beautiful around the world but people they are more like connected to the present moment here yes and so with what we feel is is uh is like yes yeah, something like m so beautiful i mean the, the waves the, the, what we feel every day so yeah i, I completely uh, agree with you yeah. and um so yeah it's interesting so it means you you make money by by more you more you do cycling more you make money right <laughs> no, I would say uh, I would say uh, the business uh, grew exponentially for the first mm. five years, and then um, as a, as cycling got more serious, mm. uh, I think uh, so. The curve went like this, and then uh, it's still growing, but it's 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 more or less stable. You know? Yeah, because I my attention went. Uh, both things become uh, became important and maybe cycling became more important so the, the business is not as is not growing exponentially exponentially mm. anymore okay i mean it's still doing great but um as i shifted my my focus to something uh, to something else then the business kind of stabilized uh can i um could i have done it in where you know both are doing great mm. uh, apps are still going exponentially and then cycling also uh, probably um, but uh, at the moment, it's kind of stable. Uh, mm. um, uh, I don't know. It's like I don't. It, I, it, I never worked that much. Uh, I mean, you mentioned this in the introduction. Like uh, maybe 10, 15 hours a, day, a week is is maybe twenty sometimes. Mm. Uh, is how much I've been putting into the app business um, from the start. Uh, just because, uh, to be honest, um, I never I never felt. Like the most, the more hours you put into something, the better you, the better it gets. Um, I, at least, like mentally, I, c I can feel that after three hours or two or three hours a day, I forget it. Like I, I, my attention isn't. Uh, I mean, I should be doing something else. And um, uh, so, two or three hours a day is great. And uh, those two or three hours a day, I just, uh, you know, I just, I, 
I try to do uh, the important things mm. and the most important things. Like I don't, I don't go around and, and see, oh, this app here mm. has a bug there. Like no, I, not anymore. I did for a while. Now, uh, no, I just, I just, I try to focus as much as possible on the on the marketing side. So, making sure we have people downloading, um, mm. people are uh, spending money in the apps, uh, the business is running good. Um, and so, as as cycling became more important, uh, I try. I've been trying to teach people to do mm. what I do, like the marketing side, uh, since maybe three, four years. Um, so, there's a team that of people just mm. marketing the apps. And that's that's been hard. That's been difficult. Uh, I, I, the rest I could teach: um, creating apps, uh, finding good mm. teams, uh, managing teams. This, yeah, I, I didn't manage to teach to teach that. I believe uh, quite okay. Uh, the marketing side is, uh, I don't know, difficult. It's more like the black point. Is uh, hmm? it, it's more like the the point you you need to improve. I mean, on yourself. You, yeah, because you, on your side. Yeah, yeah, because mm. uh, yeah. you know. It, um, I don't want to be, I don't want to be managing this business uh, for for my whole life. Uh, yeah. You know, I've um, every part of the of the business. I think more or less, I, you know, someone is managing. So someone in the team is managing it. Perfect. Because yeah. uh, they, they learn how to do it. I taught them how to do it, and they do, mm. they, they do it good. Uh, the the marketing side, uh, it's going to have to go. It's, uh, I'm going to have to get results there. Yeah, definitely. And. Um, uh, I don't. I don't know. I don't know how I'm going to do it. Uh, so far, you know, I've been trying to be involved and and, and coach people on a day to day basis, but the mm. results aren't there. So, I think the next step for me is uh, is probably just actually let, let go of it. Mm. Just let people do it. Yeah, definitely. Just yeah. let them do it. If they have questions, I'll answer. But uh, instead of uh, being frustrated because I don't, I don't I don't see them getting results, I just mm. maybe I, I let go. You do your thing. Keep an, I keep a distant eye on it, and uh, just let them do their own thing. And, but that's the, the marketing side, like the, getting the downloads and the revenue, mm. is what makes the difference between the guy that are the guys uh, that make it and those that don't. Mm. Uh, at least in the business, I don't know about other businesses, but sales—that's how you keep a business afloat. Definitely, yes. and I'm agree with you. And it's a very important point you mentioned. I mean, about the management. Mm. Uh, what I understand also when I, I manage people yes. is by, uh, okay, you have your genius zone. They have also, each person is unique and have the genius zone. Have, uh, genius gen zone. Genius zone, yeah. Okay. So it means you, for you, it takes less time to understand about the strategy, the global strategy for the app. Mm. So by creating, by promoting, and also, okay, you, you mentioned, you say, okay, the marketing I know is, is not... My favorites, but but uh, I know I can do it. Yeah. But it's just um, what is interesting in life is by managing people by the right way. Mm. I mean to trust the process for you for your strategy, the the, mark, the not the, the sales strategy, and to put the right person in on each department. After that, you get the, the wonderful result, and congrats for that because. Mm. Because life is just like wonderful. The abundance is everywhere. And by trusting the process, and so it's also us true the, the people you manage, you trust themselves and you say, I trust you. Is I hire you because I trust you. I trust you have skills to do that. Yeah. And after that, when you when you build the right team, you have the human connection and first human connection and skills. And when you have the couple like that. You can you can run a, all business you you want. You will be successful because you trust about yourself and other. So this is what life teach us: it's to help other people by your genius zone. Mm. So and, and this is why I understand on your side is I really want to ask you also how you become multimillionaire by creating apps and why apps. You know, mm. this is the question, um, because uh, what was, I mean, the uh, s something like pop up your mind, uh, maybe in the morning, I, I don't know, one morning you say mm. you, you woke up and you say, oh, wow, yeah, this is that. Oh, OK, I understand. This is my genius zone. This is what I, I really like to do it. And mm. so I'm going to do it daily. And instead of to put a lot of energy and 
but I, I'm gonna put energy by but I'm gonna make priority first. Mm. And what you say and is true is to to say, okay, the company, what is the fuel for the company is the money. Mm. How to make money by uh, by making more sales mm. and is a loop. You mm. sales, delivery, sales, delivery, sales, delivery. So yeah, you need to have like service or product, but you how you you start in the the app um, industry? How 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 you start the, the first time? Okay, so um, uh, yeah, I'll start from the beginning. So I was uh, uh, so I think the whole journey started in two thousand eleven or twelve, um, and um, back then I was working for uh, Renault, Renault, mm -hmm. yeah, as they say, the, the French car yeah. company, and then. Um, my boss at the time, who's a very good friend now, uh, Luc, uh, he was uh, talking with a colleague about a book, mm -hmm. a book called, uh, they were, I don't, at the time I didn't, I didn't even know what it was called, but they were talking about it like, and uh, it triggered my, uh, something, there's something about the book. I like the conversations they were having uh, and I was interested in you know, what this book was. Uh, and uh, they were talking about a book that's called The Four Hour Workweek by, mm. uh, by Tim Ferriss. I don't know if you read it. Yeah, Tim Ferriss. Okay. Yeah. And uh, I don't know, I was drawn to that book. So I, I, I read it. And it, uh, you know, not everything spoke to me, but a lot of things did. Mm. Um, and it kind of uh, changed my uh, perspective about uh, life. Mm. Especially like, because you know, you're, you're, uh, you're usually taught to be. Uh, you know, you go to school, you, you, mm. then you go to university, you get a good degree, you get a job, and then maybe progressively you, uh, you, you go, you become a manager, then a sales mm. manager, then yeah. a director, then da -da 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 -da. and this is how life is, you know? Mm. This is what, uh, this, is, this is how uh, a lot of people think, a lot of the society thinks, mm. um, and uh, yeah, maybe, that would, maybe this is where I was heading for a time. Mm. And then um, and I read that book and it changed my mind. I was like, oh, this, according to what this guy is saying, I can do same things differently. Um, so um, uh, I started reading other books. I think this is this this was the key for me at first, like uh, finding book, good books to read about business or about uh, uh, I don't know organization and stuff like that. So I got I, I got a lot into um, What's his name again? Uh, uh, Tony Robbins. I listen to mm. all all his uh, audiobooks, Audio like all of them. Okay. I think all of them, and uh, changed a lot of a lot of a lot of the things I was doing. So um, maybe I started eating better. Maybe I started mm. having a better. Uh, it kind of rewired my brain to uh, do things differently. So you change your habits. I changed like my that. habits. Uh, I changed. Uh, a lot of my beliefs, let's, let's, let's call it that way, and uh, through reading books. And I, for like three, four years, uh, I, I would just keep reading and reading and reading and mm. reading until I reached a point where I was like, okay, I've, I've kind of read it all, more or less, at, at least in terms of like business, um, productivity, all that kind of stuff, self-improvement also too. Mm. Uh, so I kind of read it all. And, and uh, I think, I think it, was, it, it was great to start. Without that, I think it would have been more uh, more difficult. Uh, I found a lot of knowledge in these books, mm. and um, and that's how. Uh, so the first book was the Four Hour Workweek by Tim Ferriss, and I, he also had a um, a website with um, like interviews of successful people, mm. and uh, one of them uh, was uh, an interview by a guy who was making apps and successful with it, and this guy's name is uh, Chad Murata. And uh, I read the article and I was like, wow, this is, this is great. It's fantastic. This guy is saying that he only works a few hours a day. He manages, he hires team on, on, on various online platforms, uh, gets the apps done, done for pretty cheap with decent quality. And then he markets the app on the app store. And mm. this is how he makes a living. And he's uh, flying there, going there. Oh, he has so much freedom, like fantastic, you know. Uh, and um, so I... Uh, I bought the book that he was um, this that, that Chad uh, wrote. So I bought the book, I read it, uh, and I got started. Bam, let's make some apps. Mm. And um, so I created a, a first couple of apps. Uh, so um, 
and uh, they did they did like almost nothing, like they did nothing, and uh, I spent like all my savings into <laughs> it, um, just because I, uh, yeah, I mean that the first year and a half I was just focused on okay let's let's create this app let's make it super nice super beautiful super everything, and then and then I launch it and it's gonna work you know it's gonna be like, <laughs> you know it, overnight it's gonna be like <laughs> launch it phew, nothing. No downloads, two downloads. Always like that. (laughs) Nothing. Oh, fuck. Maybe the app, I was like, oh, maybe the app isn't as good as I thought, Mm. you know? Um, And uh, maybe I made some small changes to it. Nothing. And then the second app, um, I I kind of learned from my mistakes. I was like, okay. um, Because the the first app was actually a game that I kind of came up with. uh, Oh, this is going to be great, you Mm. know? Without doing any, really any research, I was like, oh, "I want to do this, and it's going to be fantastic." And all that, and then uh, that didn't do anything. And then the second one, uh, I did like proper research. I was like, "Okay, this kind of app is working really well. This kind of app is working well. This getting this kind of app is getting downloaded. It's making money." So I was like, "Okay, I'm going to create a video editor, um, and it's going to have some cool filters and stuff like this." Um, and that app made maybe like I don't know five dollars a day or something. Okay, it's a start, you know. You start. Yeah, somewhere. yeah, definitely. Um, but I, I, I still com- didn't completely get it. Uh, I didn't get this. Uh, didn't understand really the system. Mm. Uh, the system isn't. Uh, let's create some 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 great uh, some fantastic apps that are going to change the world, and then uh, hope it does well. No, the system is you create. Uh, you do the market research. You look at what apps are doing mm. well. Uh, and you download all these apps, uh, and, and you try to find a way to to make them for fairly cheap, and uh, maybe s- make them a slightly different, uh, launch them for pretty cheap, and then keep making changes uh, until the app gets decent downloads. Uh, when I say making changes, not ne- not necessarily changing the app, making it better. Actually, not at all. Yeah. It's like okay, you try uh, different keywords, uh, different types of marketing. Maybe you change the icon, the screenshots, you just try to improve downloads. Um, changing the app itself is not going to matter that much. Um, or maybe you do try to change the app to get more re- more reviews, more ratings, because these mm. things matter on the algorithm. So the moment I started focusing on that, the, uh, the keyword research, changing the, trying to, the goal is just to rank high for the most important mm. keyword for your app. So if you have a photo editor app, you want to rank high for the most important keywords, photo editor, photo editing, mm. uh, photo, uh, I don't know, filters, whatever. You know? And uh, so my whole journey has been, okay, let's, let's, let's find how the algorithm, how the search algorithm on the App Store works, and then let's try to rank high for these keywords. Um, that was the whole journey. Uh, so the, I think the third app I created, uh, so the first app cost me maybe $10,000. Huge budget. Hmm. The second one was like maybe seven thousand, and then the fifth one was maybe three thousand, and the third one made maybe fifty times more money than the other ones combined. You know, so it wasn't necessarily about how much you spend in the app. It's, it's yeah, I just needed maybe I needed the, the experience of the two first failures hmm. to get it right after to get it sort of right after, and then after that every every app that I was launching was doing a little better, a little better <coughs> every time until. Uh, uh, until I could reach some kind of like independence, financial independence. Um, once you make like a hundred dollars a day, you're like, wow, uh, you know, I can go to Asia and there I can live like almost, yeah, I can live comfortably, right? Yeah. I mean, it's, I'm not going to be able to invest that much money back into the business. Maybe I can invest a thousand or a thousand five hundred. Mm-hmm. Uh, I can live, a, I, I can probably live decently here in Bali for a thousand dollars a month. Like you can, yeah, it's okay. Yeah. Uh, and then reinvest the rest into the business, which is more or less what I did. I was in, uh, I was in Bangkok back then. Um, you too in Bangkok, yeah. <laughs> yeah, 2000. So I started uh, the apps around 2012. I got serious late 2013, and then uh, serious meaning okay, I'm gonna mm. the two or three hours a day uh, th- that I put into the apps, it's gonna be uh, it's focused on getting downloads. Mm. And uh, and then in 2013, I was starting to make like 50 to 100 dollars a day, and then woof, I was like okay, uh, it works, <laughs> it, it works. Yeah, uh, I, I, f- 
I can live comfortably. That's nice. Mm. And uh, yeah, let's keep uh, now. Let's keep creating new apps and then uh, market them, and then let's hire a full-time developer or something like this. Um, actually, no, I didn't. I didn't hire a full-time developer until maybe um, 2015 or something. Mm. Uh, but I could still create some new apps, and the apps that I was creating, I was trying to keep the budget as low as possible. I mean, they were good apps. Uh, like the, the 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 developers that I that I hired back then. I mean, there were good developers uh, in India, or there was some in India, some in Romania, Russia, or I think actually also a team in Vietnam. But after a while, I found like a good team uh, based out of India uh, that was getting the work done. Like, so good. yeah, what I understand. Thank you for sharing this. Sure. Yes. Is uh, what I understand is the um, is not the cost you pay for something is the process, I mean, how you focus, uh, what is your focus? So uh, is what we say also be before, among, I mean, about the priority. Yes. And by by doing this, after you improve the cost, definitely. Uh, as you said, for example, the first uh, app was 10,000 the cost, mm. and after you re reduce like 50% uh, less, I mean, yeah. you, did, you 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 cut the, the budget a lot. Yes. And is not you cut the budget, but you you have. All, uh, I mean, uh, even if you pay less, you have the same quality because you know the process after. Yeah. And as you say at the beginning, you start you start to launch. You say, "Ah, oh, it's okay. I know I'm gonna break the game. I'm gonna do this, yeah. that, that." You don't have the results you 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 think at the beginning, but. After what you understand is the 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 I mean the vision the global things about your business and you say okay okay so let's focus on the keyword because the keyword is the key and is the key yeah. <laughs> and also is the the way the user experience uh, how people are gonna use the app so I'm gonna use the same app already like they they are like successful successful I'm not gonna we create exactly the same, but I'm gonna change something. Is works for me. I mean, the way I see the the app, I, I follow my vision. I trust myself, and you did very well because now you you have free time. I mean, you 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 make million. Mm. You help uh, people. I mean, the people work for uh, for for you to 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 have decent life. Mm. You you manage them, but the right way, and also. On the side, I mean, on the side, uh, it's not. Uh, <laughs> it's to, to you. You enjoy your life. I mean, you you do cycling, and you are a real challenger because what you're doing on your business, you are, are also doing. I mean, is your professional? Is you you're not doing cycling just like um, uh, you're a real professional mm -hmm. for for that. I mean, you, after this interview, you say to me, "Yeah, Max, uh, now I'm gonna do cycling six hours." Is uh, mm. is is very good. So congrats for that because um, is by trusting the process, by trusting yourself, trusting other people, is everything is connected. Is connected. It's in this life and what what is life is just abundance and is wonderful. Mm. We have everything we we need. So the knowledge, as you mentioned, also you, the uh, in the society we grow is more. Uh, we are grow and you, we are inside the loop, yep. but it's because also uh, from the the when you born and until the 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 age seven seven uh, seven years old, you you learn by your loved one, by your family, by your friend. You learn to communicate, to speak, to write, to to listen, to. To you know, to analyze the, the the present moment, and it's not true to say we cannot uh, be rich because we are not come from the rich uh, family. It's just what you do by your your habits in the daily life, making the change or not. Mm. But it's not only to read a book and, as uh, for example, Jim Quick say, knowledge is power, mm. but. To read something, to understand something is one is one thing, mm. but to apply and to do it and to do it and to do it, to do this repetition every day, 
this will be is is is, is the most powerful things we can mm -hmm. have in this world. All the willpower you can put in one project can be professional or personal. The vision first. I mean, the, the way you visualize yourself, the way you visualize your result and your goal will make your result. And it's not true to say to put a lot of willpower. So as you mentioned, for example, a lot of people in this world, they work so hard, so hard. And after they're like almost like depressed, burn out, and they say, yeah, but why? But first, focus on yourself, who you are, align with this, align what, what you're doing in the daily life, mm -hmm. and taking care of you first, because it's the way you love yourself. You can love others, and everything is connected in this world. Business is love. Business is love. The app, when you create something and, you, and someone use it, you will help them to in their daily life. So it's just the love in this world. Mm. Life is wonderful, really. Mm. So, yeah, thank you for sharing this uh, with us. Um, so on your side now, what is your, I mean, you, the, what I understand on my side is your first challenge was to, okay, to, to make this uh, business, the app uh, business, I mean, uh, successful. So now you did it. Mm. You have more time for you. Uh, what is the next challenge for you? What is your life purpose uh, behind this? Uh, yeah, uh, the app business, yes. It, I mean, uh, it's, it's definitely successful, uh, but... Uh, you know, you, you start, you, you know, making a dollar a day, five dollars a day, ten dollars a day, fifty, mm. a hundred, a thousand, five thousand, ten thousand. And then, um, I haven't reached yet my, uh, my, my complete goal with the app business. So, uh, trying to find a way to get there. Mm -hmm. Um, and, um, you know, all the, all this, uh, money that's being made with the app business. Yes. It's great for freedom. Like, mm -hmm. And when you don't have, you don't have to worry about money anymore. It's like, Makes thing, it makes life easier. And um, now it's a question of what do we do next? Uh, I, we, uh, I have ideas and, and, and projects in my, uh, in my head. We're already working on it, completely different businesses. Mm. Uh, and um, yeah, the apps, are, uh, the apps were fantastic to, to, and they still are, to have you know, financial independence, uh, freedom, do whatever I want. Uh, today, do they bring that much to the world? Maybe, uh, but maybe I'm going to do something more meaningful in the future. I think I feel like it's a normal way of doing things. Mm -hmm. um, uh, you know, I think I was driven by my uh, by my ego a lot. Like, uh, rah, you know, successful. Rah, yeah, rah. yeah. So yeah, okay, uh, that happened. Now it's like okay, let's do uh, do something that matters a little more. Uh, and uh, yeah, we started about a year ago on on on, on something. Uh, we'll see, we'll see where that takes us. Um, regarding, uh, regarding cycling, uh, I keep going. Um, and yes, I, I did reach, uh, a, a good professional level this year uh, in 2021, I, I stepped it up to, uh, <coughs> a higher level. Uh, but it was, a uh, just like anything else, you know, you, 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 you start, ra I started racing in this higher level, got destroyed. Uh, it's normal. Mm. I think, I think it's fairly normal. And, um, uh, why is normal for you now? I think it's normal that I, that it was really hard this year. Mm -hmm. Uh, just the level is higher, mm. uh, and I'm, I wasn't there. So, um, I think my body uh just needed this year to adapt and next year 2022 will be better we'll see uh, it will yeah, yeah it should it, will. it should uh i have one more year of experience uh and uh yeah trying some different things out we'll see how it goes next year mm. um and just like the apps i'll keep uh, i'll keep going until i, uh, I reach my uh my goal mm. and then we'll see what happens uh, now in my, uh, in my personal life, um, uh, we, we talked about this recently quite a bit, you and I, and, um, 
up until now, you know, I was I wasn't I was just focused on okay, let's let's achieve this, let's achieve that, and let's achieve this, you know. But uh, without without caring about happiness, you know, mm. I, was, I was just okay, let's do all this and on and on, and then not necessarily thinking that that would make me happy, but like okay, I want to I want to reach this financial independence and all this freedom and all that kind of stuff, um, which I did achieve, and, I, and now since uh, maybe a year or two, it's um, I, I really want to learn how to be happy, you know? Mm. Uh, I don't know if this is something that uh, our Western society is concerned with. Yeah. Uh, I, I don't think I was uh, taught to be happy, you know? It's, uh, and uh, I was, it was okay for me to let the happiness on the side mm. and just focus on, like, God, let's do this, 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 you know? Uh, now it's uh, now it's a, uh, happiness has to be one of the top priorities, um, and just uh, j just like you can learn to be successful, you can learn to be happy. I'm pretty sure about it. It's, uh, Definitely. And now I'm so I, I'm I'm attracting this. Like I, I mean, in a way, um, you know, uh, people are suggesting books. Okay, you should mm. read this book about uh, about how to manage your emotions, and then this mm. one about this, this one about that, and all that. And um, so this this is what matter. The rest still matters, but this matters a lot to me now. Yeah. yeah. What's the point of, of, of like uh, having freedom and money if you're miserable? It's like there's Definitely. no point. There's no point. Um, yeah. Life is is uh, as yeah. Thank you to to sharing this because it's an important point. Yeah. I mean, in the Western society, more we are, and more and more when the the, the time here, yeah, you know, is 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 more like people they are focused on. Okay. Uh, Okay, I have to to make money. I have to make money. I have to, but they they put them themselves on the side also. Mm. And what we understand also, and you thank you to sharing this is more you make money and more okay is good to we are, we are designed to live in abundance. Mm. We are designed to enjoy life also by simple things. And we are by uh, by just connecting to the present moments, mm. and by having like the the business more connected to our belief. I mean, not more the our life purpose uh, will help us uh, uh, for, for every every field in our life. I mean, uh, what I can explain on my side for that, we can sh I can share also. As before, I was computer scientist. I was not aligned what uh, I did the in my daily life because at the end it was more like uh, politics every day. And I said to myself, "Look, life is wonderful. What I can do, I, I can do something else." And I was attracted all the time by human, by sharing uh, things, tips, uh, I mean, for LC part, no, for like more also organization, focus and everything. And what I understand is by, for example, just by traveling, by speaking more, I've been, for example, in Senegal, and I stay all the time with people, like the, the people in very poor uh, uh, district, but, I was very connected with hurt with these people, and they they they, they, they teach me like uh, many things about life, and also with my parents and everything. And so at the beginning, what it was like for me a bl more blocking point is to say, "Hey, money! Uh, no, I don't want to have a lot of money because I don't want to become like that." And it's not true. You can have money and help other. You, you help other with the app, but you say, okay, no, I want to help other with something else. Mm. So uh, what is very interesting is um, you can start by working on yourself a lot. For example, as me, I work more on myself to share also these things with with the, my client. And... Um, and you, you was like more focused to how to make the, the money. You put you yourself a bit more on the side, but now you understand, you say, okay, but life is balance. Okay, I make money, I have time, but now what I want, I want happiness. Mm. And so happiness is everywhere, but happiness is first, oh, you see life. As you know, you can see life 
in two sides as the like the, the bad and like positive way there is always this uh, and so the the way you see life the way you see the present moment and the way you enjoy the present moment will definitely be a game changer for you so uh, an advice is uh, you say I'm, um, I reach my goal because I did like my routine and repetition, repetition. Now you just have to focus on how to become more happy and to do the same process, but on this goal. And so what is good is you already notice this. You say, okay, I feel, okay, I feel abundant, but not for happiness. And what's, what is life? What is life is to be happy every day. Mm -hmm. So now you just have to focus how to make yourself happy. Mm -hmm. And you start the process, you start the journey. Life is a journey and life is just wonderful because um, pro uh, the life provides us what we need daily. Mm -hmm. It's just what is your focus at this time. So now is more happiness. The, the universe will give you all you need. Look, mm -hmm. now we, we, we know each other also. We spoke more and more about that. Mm -hmm. And I'm very happy also to, to share things also I, I, I understand on my side. And you, you share also things about business for me. And there is no coincidence in life. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, thank you to be here. <laughs> Well, thanks, thanks for having me, uh, Mister uh, Mister Maxim. It's always a pleasure. Uh, if I can, uh, if I can help you out or help your uh, uh, the people that are following you, I mean, um, that's great, fantastic. fantastic. This is uh, this is life. Life is sharing first. Uh -huh. For example, me, what things pop up my my mind just now is you say, okay, you have uh, you have uh, enough money to have to live like decent life, more than decent life, and and you, you need this. I mean, you need more love. You need more but love, compassion. You can definitely, for example, have like, for example, non-profit company and help people focus on one country or focus on one thing. I don't know, ecology or something mm -hmm. like that. And say, okay, okay, so I'm going to put my money here and I'm going to help people. I'm, I'm going to, for example, I don't know, uh, currently in Bali, because uh, the pandemic is, is complicated. I mean, people, they are more poor because, uh, as you know, there is more the, the tourist uh, industry uh, drive them to, I mean, they work on this uh, in, in majority uh, here in, in, in Bali. So if you don't have like tourists, uh, no income, no job is, is difficult. So you can definitely find a way, for example, on with digital uh, things to help them to make money like that and to help them the, to, to, to be more happy. And by doing this, you will also uh, fill your heart with love and, you know, share things with people. Mm -hmm. Because life is just experience. For me, what I understand is, for example, when you travel and you visit a country, me, all things I have in my mind is not what I I, I bought in this country or uh, is the life experience, the experience I have with people, what I share with people. Mm -hmm. And now with the digital world, it's wonderful because we we can be connected all around the world. Look, we make the the this uh, this uh, interview now. It will be spread all around the world for free mm -hmm. because with YouTube. So it's 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 just. Uh, it's just wonderful. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, for, for me, is uh, uh, on my side, I, I think about that for you after is you, your life. You, I, I'm no one to say you have to do this and do that. It's just, just an idea like that. What do you think about that? Uh, say, say the question again. So, is you say uh, now you want more happiness for yes. me? What is happiness first is okay is to really uh, enjoy the present moment mm -hmm. and also to say okay 
more you earn, more you can help. By helping people, the, 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 they really need your help. Yeah. I mean, like, for example, as I said, in Indonesia currently, and especially in Bali, there is people that are, they are more and more poor because, because pandemic, everything is closed mm. and everything. So because you have already knowledge and strong knowledge skills about the digital part, I mean, the app, maybe to create something and to like cross, like uh, not crowdfunding, but I don't know, maybe p people can, uh, by using the app, they can make money, but they can help also the people in is like that. You share more love. Mm. After definitely to find also your loved one to find the the the, the right person for you to to share your life definitely mm. because there is nothing more beautiful than love mm. in this life and uh, there is two three things uh, drive the the world is okay the the love the money and more like sexual <laughs> things also because yeah. it's more or instinct. Mm -hmm. But love first. Everything is love. Business is love. So it's just ideal like that, yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, when it comes to uh, uh, helping the, the, the people in Bali or around me, um, uh, I, th I think this just goes kind of naturally because uh, there's, there's a bunch of people around me that uh, uh, you know, saw what I was doing and then uh, you know, kind of found their own way. Mm. Uh, without going through the traditional route of mm. of the, the career in a in a, mm. in a company or something like this, um, there's a few close close friends that made it either in the app business or whatever else they're doing, you know, coaching or mm. I don't know. And uh, so, without even me trying, they 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 they, they see what I do and uh, they're like, oh, okay, this guy is doing it; it's real. So gives them confidence in themselves too. Mm. You know? um, when it, when it comes to supporting the people of uh, of Indonesia or or, or Bali, uh, why not? But uh, I, I think about it sometimes, uh, but it's just not appearing in my life. You know, mm. it's like it's, it's not like I have people that I, that are telling me, "Oh, yeah, I work for this NGO," or we have this and that. You, maybe you could help a little bit this way, that way. It's just not uh, not happening. So um, I would probably do it uh, if someone wants someone to ask me to, mm. or maybe if, if if it fell right to my ear, but so far hasn't come. It has not come my way. Mm. Um, and uh, and then uh, yeah, regarding re regarding happiness, uh, yeah, I mean, it's, um, uh, I'm happy that I'm aware of it before I wasn't, uh, and that uh, that I definitely have some uh, some some work to do on that. Okay, fair enough, um, and uh, yeah. It's gonna be a it's gonna be a process too. That's Definitely. Fine. Yeah. And to uh, to trust yourself and to trust the process. Yeah. This is the key. Uh, yeah. No need to focus a lot and to say, yeah, I have to find the right person. I have to find the right way to be happy. Just by trusting life, yeah. life will give you everything you need. Yeah, yeah, but so even like a uh, thing. Oh, yeah, I'm gonna find. I'm gonna find the perfect, uh, the perfect partner. It's gonna be yeah. beautiful. Blah blah blah, yeah. blah 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 blah. I mean, uh, earlier this year, I found someone that uh, you know, fantastic. We had like beautiful relationship yeah. for a few months, and for the first time in my life, like it was, it was, you know, we both loved each other, like really. Uh, but even then, like uh, yes, I was, I was, I was happier than mm. if I was just single, um, for sure. But. Uh, Still, some things would, you know, there were still some things that would make me like uh, angry or, or something or whatever else it was. Um, I don't think finding the, the right person uh, will be necessarily the key. Maybe mm. it will help, but uh, I need to find the happiness inside of me. Uh, okay, so. That's that's because uh, I think if you master that, then what? No matter. You know, whatever happens in your life, you'll be happy no matter what. Definitely. Know? So uh, I need to learn. My, my my brain has, I think, has been wired in a way where, from life experiences, where uh, uh, it's not, it's it's it wasn't wired to be happy. So I, I've got some some dewiring to do. Uh, how how will I do this? Pfft. There's many ways. I, I can work on myself, mm. psychiatrists, whatever. Uh, um, I'll find a way. I'll find a way. Once, but once you start focusing on something and it gets your attention, and, well, especially, 
I don't know if it's especially me, but once I start focusing on something, mm. then uh, definitely I get I get in it, and then I find solutions. And you notice something important, yeah, the, to say is first the, is the way you you see yourself and the way you love yourself first. Yes, there is many people they are they are suffer daily, and this they for example they travel around the world and they say yeah okay. Uh, I find my way and oh, I find the right environment to be happy. Mm. It's not true because this is like material things. Mm. You buy something at the beginning, yeah, you're happy. And after you say, yeah, but well, it's okay. It's habits I'm using, for example, this car, this thing. And it's finished. And the same for the environment. Yeah. Because is first, you have to love yourself deeply. Yeah. When you love yourself deeply, Everything in the daily life change and really change. Yeah, yeah. And this is the, for me, the, the way it's, for, for me, the success first and to love yourself deeper. And more you love yourself, more you're able to love others and more you're able to enjoy life, to, to really enjoy the, the yeah. present moment. And as you say, there is different way because each human is unique and you have your past. I have my past. Currently the present moment in the future, we don't know, but we yeah. trust the process. Yeah, yeah. So, and for every field in life, as you said, for example, you mentioned for the business is the same for personal things. Yeah. So this is a very, very interesting. And thank you. Thank you. Yeah. To sharing this. Um, so yeah, now, um, so are you going back to Europe? You don't know. What about the cycling? What 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 will be the next step? I mean, in 2022? So yeah, I'm supposed to go back to Europe on Thursday. Um, uh, spend Christmas with the family. Um, and then uh, the cycling season will, will start shortly after. Mm. But I'm uh, undecided uh, if I go back or not. Um, yeah. We'll see. Uh, we'll see. I have the, I have the ticket. Maybe I take it. Maybe I don't. Maybe I stay here for a while because mm. uh, it's uh, <laughs> the environment here is uh, is nice. Ah yes. Yeah, uh, there's no restrictions. No nothing. And do I want to mm. go back to Europe where it's kind of a it's, it's kind of shit? I don't know. Mm. Yeah. After uh, you will see. It's just uh, uh, yeah. Okay. Uh. Okay, so yeah, it, it was very interesting to, to talk with you and mm -hmm. so we, we know already each other, but yeah. it was more to share with uh, the, the world, I yeah, mean, yeah. Uh, what is, the, what is the, the, the success, I mean, in life and what uh, brings you to the point A, to the point B and, I mean, to, uh, to break the pattern. And to say, look, guys, no need to spend a lot, a lot of time to make a million and to make, to make, um, to to be multimillionaire as you. Mm. So thank you for your sharing. Thank you to yeah to share everything and <laughs> can't hurt the the bird also is he's happy. Well. Yeah, he's happy. I like, oh, learned something <laughs> today. <laughs> so it's good and uh, yeah, very good to. I am very uh, happy. I have a lot of gratitude to to know you mm -hmm. and to to have. Um, you, you as my friend and my my close friend so thank mm -hmm. you to, to be here in mm -hmm. this world and so yeah guys uh, so th thank you uh, thank you Gabriel um, now we so we just finish uh, this episode so thank you for watching and uh, so this episode will be on YouTube and on the different uh, podcast platform as the Apple, Spotify, so many, many platforms like that. Hope you enjoy, uh, enjoy the process, enjoy life. Life is wonderful. We can do anything, just everything starts by you, how you, how you love yourself, how you, you see also, how the, I mean, the vision you have. And remember that vision first is more powerful than the willpower. So have a wonderful day or night and yeah, take care of you. Bye-bye.